Hey guys, welcome to my course on processing HDF5 files using Python 3.5. Um, in this course, we're going to be learning the structure um, of HDF5 files and how to process them, how to create them, how to save them, and so on and so forth. The contents of my course are going to be as follows. In the beginning, we will have a quick overview of the structure of HDF5 files, uh, their contents, what they look like, and the idea behind them and some of their features and powers and why they're quite useful and powerful. After that, we will uh, uh, be starting our coding, so we will uh, see how we can create and save HDF5 files, how we can read them or load them, how to create groups and subgroups inside uh, such files, and um, how to load groups and subgroups, and then how to use data compression so we can uh, reduce the size, and also how to set and retrieve attributes. Um, we will be doing these uh, uh, things using the H5Py Python package. So all the points in green here will be done using the H5Py uh, Python package. And then after that, we will move on to using the powerful Pandas package, you know, the really powerful package for data processing and manipulation. And using Pandas, we will see how we can create, save, and then load and read HDF5 files. So uh, several interesting things are uh, uh, going to be done in this course. Hopefully, uh, you will find it useful. Um, one tech or some technical de technical details that I wanted to add are I'm going to be using Python 3.5, and to be more specific, um, it's going to be the Anaconda distribution. The reason for using this uh, distribution is that it already comes with several packages. For example, it comes already with uh, the pandas package, with a numpy package, with h5py package already installed out of the box. So we don't need to do anything, just uh, use them immediately. And it, it's also easy to uh, load and use Jupyter Notebooks, um, although the uh, Anaconda distribution comes already with the, the Spider IDE, but we're not going to be using it. We, we will be using uh, Jupyter Notebooks instead. Uh, speaking about notebooks, they will be available on my GitHub account, and the link will be provided below the videos. Let's stop here and start our first video by looking at the structure and the format of HDF5 uh, data. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.